You know, in a candid interview with The Telegraph, Prince Harry speaking out about something rare for the royals, his emotions, sharing the grief and anxiety he felt for years after the death of his mother, Princess Diana. Today, I'm okay. I'm a little bit nervous, a little bit tight in the chest. In an interview with The Telegraph for its nervous. Mad World podcast, Prince Harry opening up about his struggles following that painful day nearly 20 years ago. I sort of buried my head in the sand for many, many years. I can safely say that losing my mom at the age of 12 and therefore shutting down all of my emotions for the last 20 years has had a, a, a quite serious effect on, on not only my personal life, but also my work as well. Princess Diana was killed in a tragic car accident that sent shockwaves throughout the world. In the 30-minute interview, Prince Harry admitted it would be a decade before he was emotionally ready to deal with that loss. It was 20 years of, of, of not thinking about it and then two years of total chaos. And I just, I couldn't put my finger on it. I didn't know what was wrong with me. I thought this was part of, you know, growing up or, or whatever. Harry says the issue spiraled out of control in his late 20s, dealing with anxiety during royal engagements and anger issues, like he was on the verge of punching someone eventually taking up boxing to work out his aggressions. Harry says his biggest support system was his brother, Prince William, who suggested counseling. My brother, you know, bless him, he was a huge support to me and kept saying, you know, this is not right, this is not normal, you need to talk about stuff, it's okay. I'm delighted to now spearheading the Heads Together campaign with Will and Kate, William the 32-year-old hopes to end the stigma around mental health. So you feel in a good place now? I feel, I, yeah, I, I, feel, I do feel in a good place. Because of the process that I've been through over the last two and a half, three years, I've now been able to take my work seriously, be able to take my private life seriously mm -hmm. as well, and be able to put blood, sweat, and tears into, into, the, into, the, into the things that really make a difference, the things that I think will make a difference to everybody else. Prince Harry says he wants to, in his words, normalize the stigma surrounding mental health issues. Now, he credits his mother for teaching him that when you're in a position of privilege or responsibility, you should use that power for something you believe in to make a difference. Back to you guys. Tammy, thank you. The older he gets, the more impressed I am with him. Yeah. You know, he starts to really open up and come out of his shell, and which is great. And he'll do a lot of good by being so yeah. open about it. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.